We're waiting here for Miss Janet Lee, who is the star of the new movie The Fog and, of course, Touch of Evil. And, of course, we all remember her from Psycho. She's promised us an interview, but a few minutes ago she stepped in here to freshen up, and we haven't seen her since. I wonder, oh, this must be her now. Janet? Janet? I better check on this, excuse me. Janet, are you okay? Janet? Janet? Oh. Although Janet Lee's latest brush with the bazaars in the new horror movie, The Fog, she's undoubtedly best remembered for that murder in the shower in Alfred Hitchcock's classic Psycho. Parts of that film, she recalls, were as unnerving for her as they were for the audience. Did I ever, t I have to tell you the story about the, the end of the picture. Um, uh, at the end of the shower, when it comes down and, and she's draped over, and I um, never really was exposed. I, I always wore little cover-ups, right, in mm -hmm. vital spots, and <laughs> and they were it was made of moleskin, and so we're draped over. I'm draped over the the, the tub in a rather awkward position, and and it's the shot where the camera goes close and then does the long pull away. Oh, yeah from the eye right up to the top. Anyway, so we're doing this shot, and it's a very difficult shot, camera-wise, focus-wise, because you start close, and you know, you gradually pull away, so you have to keep changing everything. So technically, it was hard. It was hard for me with the eye, you know, to get that glazed, not alive look. And anyway, we did it many times. And um, Mr. Hitchcock was very thoughtful, and because I was spent, you know, seven days in the shower. He wanted to make sure that it was warm and, and I was comfortable. And so the water was nice and warm and steam and everything. And we're in, in the middle of this take now. So f I, I don't remember which, which number of take, I don't know, but a lot of them anyway. And so we're in the middle and everything is going well. I mean, I, could, I knew that my eyes were right. I could, and the camera hadn't said cut because it was, you know, it was going and everybody was, you know, it looked like it was going to be a good one. And I could feel the mole skin the, the steam had come and somehow had loosened, and I could feel the moleskin going like, I could just feel it kind of going away from my body. <laughs> and I thought, I could blow, I, I could blow it and go <gasps> or I could let this finish so we don't have to do this, this one shot again because my eyes are killing me. And so I thought, well, they're not gonna see anything they haven't seen before, so I let it go. <laughs> 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 and there I was. <laughs> that was one of your best performances. That's exactly right. <laughs> Should have done it sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, daughter of Janet Lee and Tony Curtis, has just completed her fourth movie, The Fog. You might wonder whether having famous parents helps or hurts a young actress just starting a career. Well, that's one question Jamie hears frequently. You want to know what my book's going to be? I've got to Please. write a book sometime. All right. My book's going to be called, Does It Hurt or Hinder You to Have the name Jamie with the longest middle name, Janet Lee and Tony Curtis's daughter. You don't understand? <laughs> no, I understand it. I'm sure that's the question you've more often than any other question. It's either going to be, ask. does it hurt or hinder you? That's one title. Mm -hmm. Or, the longest middle name. Because my middle name for so long was Jamie, Janet Lee and Tony Curtis's daughter, Curtis. That's the middle name. To answer your question, yes, I just could, had Could you synopsize the book? <laughs> <laughs> when I was one, boy, no. It hurts because you're judged more. People look at you a lot more. People in auditions will expect more out of you because you're someone's daughter. Oh, let's see what this kid can do. You know, she's so-and-so's daughter. Well, let's see if any of it rubbed off. You're, you're looked at constantly when other actresses or actors might not be. But in the long run, I, I, people have asked me that. People, just the public people walking up and down the street will ask, well, I know why you're in that film because, you know, you, you know this person or that person. And, or because you're Tony's daughter, because you're Janet's daughter, and you say, do you really think that they would put a $5 million budget or a $3 million budget on a film and put you in it solely on the reason that you're somebody's daughter? No. No. You have to be able to back it up with something. I mean, you, there's no way. It may help. But I'm not going to feel... Why should I have to feel bad about it? I'm proud of it. I'm proud of my parents, as would be anybody is proud of their parents. If they're a plumber, if they're a doctor, I'm proud of my parents. And I am their daughter. But I am doing this thing by myself. And it's going to be inevitable that people are going to think that I'm doing it because I'm someone's daughter or because I know everybody in Hollywood. All I can say is that it's not true. 